Alright, welcome back. We're here with the Bugatti boys. Norm here, Larry here. Let's go straight to NBA topics. Marky Mark, what can we talk about? Let's go straight to the MVP. Who do you, I mean, there's probably top five right now that's playing so well. Who do you have this, you know, so far this season as the MVP? Uh, for me, I'm going to go with, it's tied in my opinion. I'm going to go with either two East guys, two actually. Actually, no, actually, yeah, two East guys. Mm -hmm. Kawhi or Giannis. How so? In, uh, in Kawhi obviously like... leading his team, the Raptors, um, the number one spot right now in scoring. Um, it might be the best two-way player in the league as well. And uh, in terms of Giannis, his numbers that he's putting up is ridiculous. Without a three, too. That's, that's yeah, that three. too. That's, he leads the league, and I think, like, field goal, field, field goal percentage and makes. Yeah. And um, his team is, like, right under... They were first, Milwaukee. I mean, in my, after, after that loss to the Raptors, I thought they, would, they were the number one team in the East. But mm -hmm. those are my MVPs. Are you more so leaning toward Kawhi or...? I mean, Kawhi, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Kawhi. Kawhi. He's just wearing the shirt, man. Yeah. <laughs> the claw. The claw <laughs> bias. Claw, claw. Larry, this is your age fix. Uh, so if I had to pick, I would say three guys. Two from the East, one from West. Mm -hmm. Obviously, Kawhi and Giannis. And then from the West, James Harden. The only reason James Harden's in there is because, I don't know, last couple of 10 games he's been killing. He, he brought his team back into the Western Conference, right? I think they're like fourth or fifth now. They were 14, I think 12 yeah, or 14. Yeah, exactly. They started before, out really bad. In, uh, before Eric Gordon and uh, Chris Paul went down and then Harden just kind of took over. Bro. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, also, so Kawhi, obviously, for a reason, because he's with the Raptors, were first in the East. And then Giannis. So basically, the Bucks, I would say they're basically the same team as last year. They didn't even do that good last year. And then I guess Giannis up, upgraded his game and then he's in the MVP, MVP talks now. They and added some yeah. crucial pieces, man. They made some really good, like, under, like underrated like picks with like Lopez. Lopez stepped back nowhere. three, yeah. bro. This guy's shooting like a like staff. <laughs> Yeah, George I think Hill. one game he had like ten threes or something like that. Seven. Oh, eight. yeah. Or he was just like, but he was step like doing step back moves. He wasn't doing like a spot up, like he was taking the bro, ball. He in. is step back too. Yeah. Yeah, Ooh. when I saw it, bro, they take seven. I'm like, he can't. He has those. It looks. It's awkward. cause like when you're not following that, the team, looks, right? You're like, it looks, it looks off. weird. Like, right? It looks yeah, awkward it's because awkward. it's so tall. But yeah. Then, yeah. yeah. It's so slow. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Mark, Mark, your picks. <laughs> I'm gonna go with someone that no one's been picking up because they've been doing so well in the West. Like I'm gonna pick Jokic. It's like I just because Ooh. no one's paying attention to how well Denver's playing. That's a good one. And it's because of him. Like yeah. it's it's just the way he runs the team. Like if you watch how if you look at their lineup, they don't have a, like a legitimate point guard. Like mm -hmm. both Gary Harris and Jamal Murray are both off guards if you watch how they mm -hmm. play. Mm -hmm. And it's because of Jokic like setting up the and setting up the the team and he's basically dictating the pace and how they play. And defensively he's improved for them. Yeah. And because of that, they're top in the West. And who would have known? Like yes. people thought it's going to be automatically Golden State or Rockets, mm -hmm. and it's Denver. And Are they, they number one in the West right now? Yeah, they're number yeah. one in the West. And the thing is, they've had injuries. They have injuries to like Paul Millsap. They had injuries to Gary Harris for yeah. one. And well, Barton was out for a while too. And Jokic was the reason why they're top in the West. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that's no one's probably going to vote for him as much as they're going to get. Like, like flashy, not yeah. like a brand name, like as. A, like, then nobody, yeah, his game is not flashy except the passes, yeah. but like he's efficient, he makes free throws, and he shoots threes, he scores. Yeah. He better Everything be an all star. He's year. definitely an underdog. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's for sure. My pick, I think my pick, it doesn't really make sense, but I, <laughs> I said, I said like before the season started, I really was rooting for Anthony Davis to he's like up there. He's, he's up there, but like his season. like in terms of, I mean, he's like, always up win. there. Right? He's always yeah. up there, but it's kind of like when everyone else is performing, it's like. If his team's not winning and as much, yeah. then it's like, can't yeah. really put him it's in the It's all about the records when you yeah. talk about Yeah, I know. That's what it, yeah. It's like the narrative around it. it. Yeah. And yeah. since I am talking about Anthony Davis, it goes to the next topic, which is, should he be traded? You know, all those rumors. Well, his season's right? coming so, up. Yeah, and this is his contract season to see if to take that extension or should they trade him? I mean, if... If he gets traded, the Pelicans organization might go downhill, you know? He's the one... He's a franchise player that that they need. If they don't get anything in return for him, then I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like, maybe you get some good pieces from the Lakers, but that's only if they want to trade him, right? Yeah. So I don't know. Sunken ship. Yeah. I think he, I think he should be traded. Because yeah. the bigger question is that there's no other team that can sign him in terms of the max deal that the, yeah. uh, the Pelicans can offer. 
but at the same time, he's already made it clear that he cares more about the legacy rather than the money. Yeah. So for uh, on the uh, Pelicans uh, side, they'll be thinking, okay, we can give him the most money, but he's not looking for it. He wants to win. What can we do? Should we trade him now before he leaves? You know, in the summer and decides like I want to go in a winning team, and then they get nothing. Like what happened to like KD, where they <laughs> he left without getting anything in return, or Shaq that day. So these are the kind of things that you know. So LeBron, just, LeBron's trying to recruit him. He's mm-hmm. going out for dinner or something. Yeah. Like that. <laughs> and he, he's, the because game. of that, then the the NBA made some rule changes on like going out for dinner because of that. Oh really? Yeah. They made some changes oh, like you know tampering rules that like you can't yeah. you know players can't oh, have. Oh shoot. Yeah. That's uh, wow. but it, it's to, to Davis. I think the Pelicans does owe him that if they do, if they can't get, they they can't surround him with the kind of players that he needs to win. They should trade him just so that because he's been so loyal to them and they've done an okay job this past season. But the past few years, they've never surrounded him with the players that he needs because of the talent that he has. It just reminds me of Kevin Garnett, like Kevin Garnett in Minnesota was so good when they had him and then he was so loyal to them and then uh, they just deserved like they he needs that kind of trade that they did the same thing with KG when they gave him to Boston and he won a championship yeah, yeah. it sucks too because he doesn't get to play on the big stage like yeah. he doesn't get to play like playoff like later on in the playoffs no one get to see and him play yeah. yeah his stats are like monsters, monsters. they made the playoffs so, last year no? he's an amazing player they made the yeah. playoffs not, I believe not last year the two years ago oh, so yeah. they so, missed it they missed the year it. that Curry yeah Hit those crazy shots. Yeah, yeah, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's 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 talk. Let's segue to Curry and the Warriors. Now, are Warriors still unanimous and the favorite to win the championship? Once the market comes back, he up, hands <laughs> yeah. down, which is in it's a week or completely two, completely over. Yeah. Um, five All Stars, five Team USA members. I don't know any other team that can match up straight up five with these guys, especially when the market comes back. So, in my opinion, once he comes back, it's over. They're winning it again. Well, it really depends if DeMarcus comes back at the at a high level, right? If mm. he, because he's coming from a what? Achilles. Achilles, Achilles is a scary serious one, from, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yeah, if if he doesn't come up, if he doesn't play at a high level, there's still a chance, but probably not because the Warriors are the Warriors. They still have four All Stars plus DeMarcus, but. Go Raptors. <laughs> even, even if, even go if Raptors. he still... Even go, Raptors. Raptors. Said, go Raptors. No explanation. Yeah, no, no, go Raptors. Even, yeah. even if he's still hurt, he's still attracting the double teams, man. Yeah. You yeah. can't not single coverage the Marcus Cousins, even yeah. if he's going... Teams, he will attract double team, kick out to all these shooters, and that's why I say it's over. I think the this was key of, for him. Yeah, the passing ability that he has. Um, it's basically close to what Draymond is doing for them. Yeah. If he's just like maybe 70% of what he was last season, where he can give you like 10, yeah. 15 points a game, but gives you like three or four assists mm-hmm. a game with some defensive stat, that's all you're gonna really need from yeah, him. Yeah, well, he's definitely an upgrade from any center they have right now. Yeah, like, yeah that's true. Zaza Pachulia, <laughs> yeah. definitely better than him, yeah. but he's not yeah. on the team anymore. I don't even know who's there. Javale was a big loss for them, though. That's uh, probably what I Looney? Yeah. Something Looney? Oh, Looney, yeah. Kevon Looney. and um, some other center. Jordan but, Bell. Yeah. Uh, that's funny, and I was like, it's over. Like, it's one of those things <laughs> where over. you're like, if you're playing 2K with someone and they pick a team, like, bro, I'm not playing you. Like, it's done. I think it's nobody wants to choose the Warriors it's because I know. even as in, as 2K, I yeah. them, in 2K, like, DeMarcus is not injured. So, here's there a 90. Without the DeMarcus, yeah. I think the Raptors can take them. Yeah. But with DeMarcus, oh, with DeMarcus it's, uh, over. Yeah. it's over. It's 